I'm going to transition to using the SMG now. Oh, shit! Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Is he dead? Ah! <laughs> I think it's time to run, you guys. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming. This is the Dead is Dead series where we play the game on insane difficulty. The times are all set to nightmare speed. We have a horde uh, night every two to five nights with no warning, and we have one life to live. If we die, it's game over. Still alive. We are at game stage 42, level 11. It is day seven, later in the day. I just, uh, there was a little coal um, node here that I started mining and I just hit the next level so I took the next point um, from that in uh, yay science so now we can make a Kim bench and we can start making gunpowder I've got a bunch of nitrate but I don't have a lot of coal so um, what we need to do though to make the Kim bench is we need to go back to the base and get um, our beaker <laughs> And we need to make a burning barrel, too. We need... So, yeah, we're going to... Okay, that's easy to make. So, basically, I have to go get our, our beaker. And I got I got a bunch of pipes back at the home, and back at home, too. And we can make three cooking pots in the forge as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Let's actually get the cooking pots made up right now. So that will be done when we come back. It's kind of a pain not to have all that stuff at our own base. But it is what it is. Free workstations, baby. Free workstations. Okay, so you need to make uh, three cooking pots. Get the bullet casings behind you. And let's stick, uh, I guess we'll stick those radiators in there. Okay, so those will be done way before we get back. So we got to go get beakers. Um, and... We've got to get pipes, and we, we need to bring back a few iron ingots so we can make the burning barrel as well. And then we'll have a Kim bench. That'll be freaking awesome, man. And then it's going to be lead and coal. Those are the two things I need to, to start get going after to make the uh, the bullets. We've got a, a decent supply of brass that we've built up. Um, and I, I, it's only been like two or three minutes since I left you in the last episode too, by the way. So I haven't done any inventory management yet. Uh, so here's pipes here. I think we only needed 15 though. So let's grab those. Uh, let's just grab the stack of forged iron. Uh, we'll put the clay and all that stuff in there. We'll put the bullet tips in there for the moment. Uh, and we got to go down and get our beaker because we have a beaker we've been sitting on down here. Should be right yeah. Beautiful. But yeah, my little tunnel there hat we have an iron deposit and a nitrate deposit in it. And I've tunneled a little a little bit further beyond that. But I haven't come across uh, any lead or coal down there. So what I'm gonna probably do is look you know, look close to the base for a deposit. This one's not really a good one to start a mine on because it's so close to the trader, of course. And we wouldn't be able to mine uh, to the west at all. Okay, so let's grab those. Um, okay. Now we need to make the burning barrel. Then when that's done, we should have everything we need to make the chemistry station. We gotta wait 20 seconds for that to finish. Okay. We'll grab those iron gloves there. Oh, we're out of wood. Here, let's just use.
Okay, so we got 395 coal we can get started uh, with the gunpowder. We'll let that continue its thing there. There we go. Okay, that'll be ready in 26 seconds. And then we're going to take that back to the base, get it set up. And we'll, st we'll get it started making gunpowder, you know, with what we have so far. In, with the coal, and then we'll have to keep looking for coal. And then the next thing, of course, is going to be uh, lead. So let's grab all the casings that we've made so far. And I'm probably going to focus mostly on 9 mil, and we'll start using our SMG as our primary weapon. Um, and we'll use the 762s just in oh shit situations uh, for now, until we can really start mass producing uh, the ammunition. Okay, so the Kim bench should be done by now. We're close enough. There we go. All right, we got ourselves a chemistry station. Okay, let's head on back and get this set up. Now, did I? Is I thought I saw another coal. That's iron. I might have just uh, seen that boulder out of the corner of my eye. Uh, we need to find lead, though, too. Lead's usually all over the place, but I haven't seen anything really close to the base, but I haven't been directly looking for it either. That's a nitrate, so it might, might be around here somewhere. There's iron real close to the base, but we've already tapped into an iron deposit anyway. Oh, there's lead right there. Okay, good. All right, we don't need that right this second, but... And then if I can find... If I can remember where the coal mine POI is... Um, we can get a lot of coal really easily from that without even having to dig underground. Okay, so where do we want to put our workstations? I think we'll we'll just put all everything here in the kitchen. So let's get these tables out of here. So we'll just line up all of the crafting stations along the wall here. Beautiful. Okay, let's grab uh, the nitrate that we currently have. And let's get some gunpowder going. Um, actually, I want to get... Do we have stuff for glue? Uh, we have enough... Yeah, we do. We do have stuff for glue. Uh, then we're gonna we're gonna take this next point. Um, we'll take the next point in yay science. Excuse me, because we can we can get to it with the with the nerdy glasses on, and then we can start making gasoline. That's gonna be important too here pretty soon. All right, so let's put some fuel in there. We'll make nine glues, and then everything else will be. Dedicated to gunpowder. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? I guess I didn't mine up as much nitrate as I thought I had. Okay, well, no problem. We can. That's something we can certainly do overnight. Okay, well, that'll still get us started, especially for 9 mil rounds, because we only need one gunpowder per bullet. So, yeah, for some reason, I was thinking I had more nitrate than that, but I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. We'll 
we'll put the casings in here and I, I have uh, some I have some bullet some bullet tips uh, upstairs as well that we brought back so we got bullet tips right there uh, but I think I'm gonna leave that stuff there and we're gonna find out here in just a little bit if if a horde's coming in if it does you know then uh, we're gonna take this iron and go to the apartment building and get those bars upgraded um as to whether or not I'm gonna fight the horde tonight I, I don't know I mean I still don't have an abundance of ammo by any stretch of the imagination so I probably won't fight them tonight but we will plan on you know working on getting our ammunition uh, situation built up and then the next time we should be able to start fighting and killing them because that's always a good thing to do you get a ton of XP on Horde Knight. Okay so we've got a lead deposit here um what we need to do is find a coal deposit or the coal mine POI that's closer to the base than the one that's by the uh by the trader there okay here's coal right here so that's not too far away from the base not far away at all in fact all right i think we're going to make this our coal mine if we can't find here let's just put a quick way paint way paint way point on that let's look around just a little bit though for that coal mine too i haven't really paid attention uh to it so i know there's one around here somewhere i'm just not sure where So let's just ride around a little bit and see if we can figure out where that's at. I was going to I was going to cheese the loot out of the the funeral home. Let's do that since it's right here and it's easy to get to. We'll probably have to kill a couple of zeekers. Wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. Let's make sure everything's loaded. Oh. <laughs> Easy there, old guy. Keep pulling it away before it has a chance to finish. Ooh, triple storage pocket mine. Nice. Um, there is other stuff up here. Just trying to. I'm wondering if it's worth going up there to kill the zombies to get to. Oh yeah, shotgun messiah crate. Okay, yeah, let's uh let's hit that too. Got a knife. Okay, so this is not likely to be better than ours, which it isn't. So we'll just sell that. Uh, we'll sell that. This could be better than what we have. This will come in handy. Uh, for desert garb. Now the question though is, is there something we want to give up on the armor? We don't want to give up really the, the bandolier, we don't want to give up the helmet light, but I would give up this plating, because I think that only gives us one more point in armor anyway. Yeah, I'd rather have the storage space. Nice, so that opens up the whole bottom row for us. Okay, is this better armor than what we're currently wearing? It looks like it's one one more. Okay, so yeah, let's change those around. And we got we got our one point in armor back. So that's good. We'll hang on to these. We're going to sell all this crap here. Ah, uh, shoot. I should have put my lucky looters on. I always forget to do that. Um. Okay, so what are we doing? We're looking for a coal mine, and we're kind of waiting to see if we're going to have a horde night. Let's go over this way. I don't know, does the town 
go beyond here. Doesn't look like it except for that town that's way over there, which we might take a little trip over there and see what's going on. We're going to find out if it's Horde Night here any second. If we hear a thunderclap, we know it's on. Got junkyard. Okay, there's uh I don't think that's the coal mine there. Or is it? No, it's the grain elevator. Buddy's grain. Okay. I'm actually, I don't think I've actually ever been in that POI before either. I'm not really familiar with it. All right, I'm going to say we're not getting a horde, because I think we probably would have heard the thunderclap by now. So that means <clears throat> we can keep riding around for a bit and keep looking for the coal mine. And explore some more territory whilst we're at it. So let's head north here. The town that we were in on Life um, 6, I think it was, yeah, Life 6. Okay, there's there's the, the bookstore skyscraper. So I think this is the town that we were in with Life 6, and the coal mine is in that town, because that's how we died. In fact, I think that's it dead ahead. No, that's the... Yeah, the coal mine's on the right, and the grain, you know, the oat factory thing of doodles on the left. So, well, let's cheese the loot out of that, oh, the O'Malley oats, and then we'll cheese the loot out of the coal mine, because now we have the firepower to get back out of there if we need to. But the cool thing about this, if you guys didn't already know this, is that... This little green bin here is loaded with coal. That's all coal right there. Super easy to get to. But let's uh, let's do the looting first. Well, we still have a little bit of light left. Though we do have the helmet light now, so that's awesome. Took us a while to find that, didn't it? Oh, look at that. Shamwick crate right there. Go away, Edgar. All right, so we've got that dude in there. his head I'm trying to kill him before I... um all right let's let's try that again I'm trying to be somewhat quiet here yeah I don't think we're gonna be able to hit him because that block and pulley's going to be in the way. Oh, okay, he fell through the hole, so we're good. Oh, good. Magazine extender mod. Another fully automatic thingamadoodle. And we got a working stiff here. Okay, we'll 
we'll take that. Let's bust this ladder just in case they try and get back up that way. Yeah, that should work. Okay, um, sometimes there's an ammo thing down there. It looks like it is there. So let's see if we can get to that. Oh my goodness. Go away, Edgar. Um there, let's do this. We gotta get we have to get down there on the block because we can't reach it from here. But I wanna make sure this is at least somewhat blocked off here so we don't get anybody jumping down on our head. There we go. Got some nine mils. Okay. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Let's cheese the coal mine. She might cause us some trouble. Okay, that's the schematic. Yeah, we'll learn it. What the hell? Let's get rid of this paper. We don't need that. In fact, we're gonna have to put some things in the bike. So we have room for whatever we're going to loot from down below there. So all of this stuff here. That slut chamber does 35 melee. This does 43. So that's something we're going to sell. Uh, this we're going to put on one of our guns. That's something we'll probably just smelt. These will sell. You know, actually, you know what? We should wear these. We don't have any armor. Yeah, because goth because gothic boots are not armor. Okay, good. So that gives us some. Um, that gives us another slot. Let's put these on before I forget. Darn it! I should have put them on before. Ugh, can't take me anywhere. Can't take me anywhere. Um, what happened to? Here it is, right here. Okay, so what we can do is modify and put these on here. Plus, we got another slot, too, if we come across another mod. So that's awesome. We're still wearing a dress. What the hell? What's the matter with us? Um, I want to put this on here. Because the other AK is just our backup weapon anyway. Nice. So we got 46 rounds in that sucker. Awesome. Those guys might become a problem. All right, let's repair this. And let's see, we were in the process of putting stuff in here, weren't we? Um, yeah, let's just put all this crap in here. It doesn't matter. Okay, so that hopefully gives us enough room to cheese all the stuff down here. Oh shit! Now we got your attention. Phew! Are we okay? I think so. Scary. I can't see I can't see anything. It's so damn dark outside. All right, let's take our last small bandage. We got a full stack of big ones though, so that's good. Plus we have some painkillers too. Oh, that got my heart racing. You just never know because especially when it's so dark out cuz they then they can start coming from all directions and I've gotten myself into trouble more than once in that situation.
Okay. Very glad, though, that we now have our helmet light. We're going to put this right here. So that way, if we get uh, pinned down like we did last time, I mean, if nothing else, we just jump out of here. Oh, it's on the wrong side, though, isn't it? And get to the bike and see if we can escape. Okay, let's head on down here. It's almost like... The game, as soon as you go down here, is like spawn something in uh, almost every single time without fail. And I'm not going to put up with it. Not this time. Bastard. If I hear more footsteps, I'm going back up and blowing them away. Ammo pile. Eh, I hate those things. I I should probably give those a chance. Sometime, you know, when we get into end gaming, we can max out the points. They're just damn near worthless, though, in the in the early game. They're dangerous, is what they are. At least not insane. Oh, nice blueberry pie. Okay, how many lockpicks do we have? We've got nine. Hopefully we can open this with nine. Look at that. More ammunition and a mod for, for this guy. Uh, except for we put... Didn't we? Oh, never mind. I thought I had a mod on there already, but I guess I didn't. Cool. Okay. I get my games confused because I also have a normal series going on, and you know we're already on life. What is it? Life seven on this series, <clears throat> and over a hundred episodes in, which is cool. This episode will probably be 109 or 110. So we've really put out a lot of a lot of videos in this series. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the coal in this bin over here. All right. Got uh, six six thousand five hundred fifty one XP and two thousand four hundred sixty coal out of that deal, and uh, the mod, uh, the gas tank mod on there allowed us to uh, do that all of that with um like only one and a half uh, tanks I think it was I had to stop and repair it once too that's pretty good okay so we got a nice little supply of coal. What I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the base and uh, mine up a little bit of that lead that was that was nearby. You know what, too? Let's uh, let's mark this uh, waypoint, and we'll call this the coal mine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Coal mine POI. Just uh, because there, there's also there's still a whole bunch of coal down inside of there too. Of course, we have to fight the Z's to get to it. Uh, the other thing too is this is where the the bookstore library is at. I'd like to get that marked too. So let's do that whilst we're still here. That's gonna be fun looting that. I haven't actually did a full loot of the bookstore library since I think Alpha 16. I don't remember doing it in 17. And this is the, the first time, this map is the first time I've seen it at all in 18. Ah, that's right, we'll just call it Bookstore. I was trying to spell Skyscraper, but it's not enough letters for that. Excellent, excellent, okay. Um, 
yeah, so uh, we're going to head back home. And uh, we got a store here. Is this a working steps? I think it is. See, their working steps are popping pills. It's popping pills. Nice. Let's mark that, too. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go home, and I'm going to mine up some more of that lead. Oh, look at this, an old shotgun messiah, a messiah store. This map is just freaking awesome. Uh, uh, hit that lead. How many times have I had had to start over again? You know what we could do? Oh, well, how much time we have? Yeah, we're about it's about quitting time. Let's 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 cheese the loot out of here. And then, then we'll wrap up the episode. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home, mine up that lead deposit that's nearby, and um probably mine up some more of the nitrate that we have uh in our, our little tunnel so that we can really start mass producing some gunpowder and uh, get get bullets going and like I mentioned I'm gonna I'm gonna transition to using the SMG now oh shit oh that scared the hell out of me is he dead oh <laughs> I think it's time to run you guys I think it's time to run. That's too many. That's too many to take out right now. Oh. Is that like a... Just a, a wandering horde that came through? Or those guys... Did those guys all come out of that POI? Whew. My heart's racing. There's only three of them. See, I, I I thought I thought we'd picked up a wandering horde. Then I hear either a cop or a Hawaii Five O all worked up somewhere too. Oh my God, that scared me. Okay, let's pick these bastards off. We're gonna show them the error of their ways. Well, if we can actually get a shot off on them, that is. Two more that came through. Where'd they go? They must have just been sleepers in that building across the road and we woke them up. I don't see them now, though. Did they despawn? That zombie's, I think, inside. Okay. Got nine lockpicks. That will hopefully be enough to open that the big chest down below. I'm like so nervous right now.
this thing loaded all the way up? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm gonna get these out of the way too, so I don't accidentally run into them when we're running, screaming for our lives, trying to get back out of here. Okay, so let's put those down there, and let's put the hammer on here. Okay. So that guy's right there. Okay, let's try and be as silent as possible. I'm going to need to make some more bolts. Uh, wait, where's my crossbow? Oh, shit, did I move that up on the bike? Silly me. Uh, let's put the motor tool parts up there. There we go. Oh, he's breaking that fast. Did we even hit him that time? But totally used all of our stamina. This guy's tough. Okay, we hit him that time with a a power power attack. All right, he's down. There's somebody messing around up there too, but I'm not worried about them right now. Oh, okay. This is risky. This is risky. Let's have this guy at the ready. Got a big moment there. And Skater Punk there, and that dude up there. Large M. Okay. Let's stand back as close to the door as possible. And see if we can open this with the lockpicks. Ooh, that's loud. Come on. Wow, look at that stuff. Ha ha ha. Um, we're going to have to, let's get rid of stuff that's not super valuable. That might be a nice upgrade for us. Um, this we can put on one of our weapons. Let's just eat this right now. Okay, 
right, so I want that. This we can just, well, that'd probably be worth selling. So this will scrap. Okay. Okay, that was, that was good stuff. That was really good stuff. Oh, damn it, and I'm not wearing my Lucky Looters. <laughs> I can't remember anything. I mean, we still got good stuff anyways, but we might have got something even better. Ah, damn it. Okay. Let's, um, let's put the muzzle brake on here because we have another slot. <sighs> okay. I want to, let's just see what's in here. Likewise. But he's still staying asleep. Okay, good. Um, that's worth selling. So we'll grab that. Now there's another box here, but I don't know. Should we press our luck? It's a popping pills. <laughs> are you kidding me oh you stupid game you know what it doesn't matter i mean i was i would have taken the yay science point anyway so it doesn't actually matter in the long run uh we got to make room for for this stuff though we don't necessarily need a fat, but this is worth taking back and selling. Um, so what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Dump -ton parts. Uh, this isn't worth anything. I don't care about the fat. Not a big deal. All right, there's there's also a pile of usually a pile of food. Oh, we can get to it right from here. Nice. Uh, lamb. What's this? Those are beef. Let's just drink that right now. Um, we don't need to eat, so I don't want to waste that. This isn't worth anything. Oh, no, wait, that's the mod. Wait, is that the mod? No, that's just a club. Okay. Let's grab that, grab these. And then the coffee. Three things of coffee would be nice. Um, it sells for 73 Let's do this. Did we get the copy? Oh no, we're in the wrong thing. Oh shit! All right, forget the copy. Let's just go. <laughs> Run away! Okay. <laughs> That, uh, that was fun. That was fun. Dangerous as hell, but fun. Okay, guys. Well, we're out of time. It is the next morning, too. So I'm going to go back to the base. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to take a day off, meaning that I'm going to have an off-camera day. Um, and I'm just going to spend this next day mining lead, mining nitrate, getting gunpowder going, and, um, and just, you know, kind of doing some, uh, off-camera types, you know, type of work. And then what we'll do is, if the horde comes tonight, I'll start the next episode um, when that happens. If they don't come tonight, um, then I'll start the next episode tomorrow morning, and we'll do our next quest. Okay. I think this place has a rattlesnake inside. But there's also a box of of something down here. Oh, maybe there isn't. I thought there was. Let's see if the rattlesnake's there. Nope, he's not. Ah!
Sometimes this POI has a rattlesnake sitting right on top of there, and you open the door and you're going, ah, oh, shit. We definitely want that. I, I've already got like three or four cheapy wrenches, and this shovel does 47 block damage compared to R49. So, yeah, scrap a doodle, scrap a doodle. Okay, so I will either see you tonight at the start of Horde Night, if it comes, or I will see you tomorrow morning, and we will do um, our next quest. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.